Hello guys, Dr. Bayes from the Unless for From, and um, well, I thought it would be interesting to show you a little test that I will, I will do with the uh, Turnigy uh, silicon wire. As you can see here, I have a lot of these uh, adapters that I made over the years for testing various per various uh, devices using uh, a lot of different connections with uh, always the uh, great powerful PP30 uh, connections, and I've been using the mostly the 12 gauge and also the 10 gauge wires there's one so you can see here this is 10 gauge you see uh, compared to the connector what kind of size it have and um, you see usually these connector cannot have a, a 10 gauge I just found a way to uh, insert them without losing any of these strands and have a great connection with uh, flexibility on the connection inside to have maximum contact and it worked pretty well. I can uh, sustain about 40 amp continuously without uh, exaggerated or dangerous overheating. So um, I just wonder, uh, you, you see on that project, the Nick's bike project, I'm using the, uh, this is the alpha version of the Adepto and um, the power connections to the uh, battery uh, are with uh, 10 gauge wires. So these are uh, 10 gauge uh, silicon turnigi and uh, great um, bullet type connections. And um, I just wonder, uh, this, th this controller can take uh, up to 150 amp battery current and 400 amp uh, phase current. And um, I was wondering um, how much heat uh, these wires can um, uh, can take uh, at various uh, current. So well, I have a lot of experience. I I know that uh, 40 amp for a 10 gauge is not a problem. It's uh, like normal uh, temperature. But I will test it for you right now. I have this uh, great power supply I got from eBay. This one is uh, 0 to 10 volt, 0 to 100 amp. Really nice for uh, charging at high current uh, single cells and uh, also uh, various testing at high current. And this one is uh, 0 to 100 volt at 0 to 10 amp. Uh, great for charging or testing. So, um, as you can see here, I've connected this uh, 100 amp uh, power supply to this uh, great uh, 10 gauge uh, wire, Turnigy wire, the same as um, the controller right here. Okay, so I will crank up the amp. I will power the. Uh, okay, zero volt right now. I will just crank the amp to 100. So the 10 gauge wire will take 100 amp. And in the uh, RC uh, community, I know that it's uh, quite popular to get one of them on these wires because even the uh, Turnigy or ZP or uh, any other great ba LiPo battery have these kind of wires for a uh, high C rate battery. And uh, well, you see, I have nearly one of them. And I'll just double check with you <coughs> with my reference for testing. So this is Fluke 337, I like it because it's really accurate, I will just zero it, alright, and what kind of current, I know just, <laughs> just putting the, 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 the DC clamp around the wires increased the uh, amp due to the uh, wire that creates some induction in the all effect sensor. So. I will check on the amp. Okay, I'm on the opposite. I have 102, so it's pretty accurate for a holder power supply like that. So I officially have 100 amp. So you see, no smoke. I can touch it. It feels barely warm. I will say about uh, 40 degrees Celsius, maybe 45. And I'll just show you with the infrared thermometer, try to get some great reading uh, for, oh 50, 51 52, it's slowly increasing, 53 for, as you can see for um, well for a uh, uh, great period of time you can carry 
as much as at least 100 amp in a 10 gauge wire, Ternigi uh, silicon wire. Uh, just imagine if you crank up uh, the current when uh, you uh, twist the throttle, wide open throttle uh, on the acceleration on your e-bike, uh, it will draw a lot of current and uh, there is no problem with 10 gauge. As well, you see I will have uh, a voltage loss across the wire because it just lose some uh, heat, it's uh, kind of a resistance. Uh, usually we will say 1 milliohm per, uh, per feet Lange of 10 gauge wire. This is the standard. So it means in one fit you will have about 10 watt. You will have uh, 1 milliohm at 100 amp, so it's 10 watt dissipated in the lange of this wire. But it's it's quite normal, you see. The uh, silicon can sustain up to 200 degrees Celsius, so no problem. I don't have any uh, problem imagining this wire could handle 200 amp, no problem, without melting or uh, danger. But for uh, maybe not for continuously, but for uh, uh, a great period of time, just the time you can accelerate until you reach your uh, 100 km speed <laughs> on your e-bike. So no problem with the 10 gauge. 100 amp and you see 0.5 volt this is the uh, voltage loss in all the connections between here to the wire here okay I will check with the multimeter just to give you an idea on how much voltage I will lose at 100 amp so as you can see I only have two hands one for filming and the other for uh, Doing the job, testing. Okay. Alright, so one will be connected right here and one right here. You see I have about um about 81, 82 millivolt and it's not one foot land, it's about uh I will say eight inches. Land. So it corresponds pretty closely to the 1 milliohm at 1 foot. Not totally, I will have normally uh, 100 uh, millivolt, but it's pretty close. And I still touch it, and it's warm, but not too much. And it, you'll see it changed color slightly when it gets hot. So it's pretty interesting. And uh, when I solder some connections on these wires, the silicone just get darker a little bit but it come back to a lighter color after that. So, I hope you appreciate it, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.